Howdy, y'all. I don't officially yet have a YouTube channel or anything like that, but I'm being preemptive because I have certain ideals and goals of which uh, I'm striving for. I'm not saying striving in a way that entails maximum effort, but also not its opposite with no effort. It's that sweet spot balance in the middle. Uh, because a lot of it should be effortless once you get to a certain point. You're practicing something for a long time. And uh, become second nature and automatic. And then you realize there's different dimensions to that specific facet of life itself. And uh, like right now I'm, I'm boxing as well. So, so many different levels to that. I mean, you watch the pros and just, when you're starting off, you realize how many details there are. And... Um, yeah, it's just crazy. Uh, same thing with writing. There's so many different levels to that. And I, I'm blessed. <laughs> I'm blessed. Because I I had an idea flashed upon the screen of space. That is what we... Call mind. Though mind is, is a word to describe something so vast and expansive, and limitless, but uh, a sound. It's uh, a concept. But with the sound, <laughs> it, you're actually able to. Because that's, that's the universe, meaning one sound expressing itself its energy in the form of you saying that one word mind or me talking right now this it, it's a crazy conceptual leap to be perpetually in that state of mind state of awareness it becomes automatic autotelic where you know this is it this is the this is eternity as I'm saying these words right now, this is the eternal moment of creation. And it's never ending. Although, if the universe was experiencing itself as one person and never ending, that would be an insufferable war. So, there's me. There's you. All these seeming differentiations that we give labels and assign different concepts and meanings to are essentially fundamentally one. One love, in other words. That's where that comes from. It's always the same thing with treat people. I don't want to be treated, you're treat. These, these people that show up in our lives. That's why I value relationships so much. People, put people first. Things second. I used to put things first. and People second and, you know, you, you live and you learn. Some people never do. I'm uh, learning every day. I'm a lifetime student, so... mind <laughs> it's an incredible thing that is allowing me to express in a way that is naturally flowing I'm in a mental space as I'm speaking I the words are coming out they're not being thought of beforehand they're naturally being allowed to flow out and as as I'm speaking, I'm simultaneously observing what is being said, but not clinging on to it and disallowing the next thing to be talked about. And it's it's cool when you practice speaking to yourself, or your you know your it's conscious mental uh, mental imaginings and ideas and and thoughts um, as you're observing them and. 
it's being directed towards a definite ends and definite goal. And, and you're conscious of that and you want to manifest that and bring that forth and experience that and you're in this three-dimensional physical, tangible reality. At least that our perception of it, with our five senses, uh, perceive this three-dimensional world. However, like boxing and like writing and like all these other things, the deeper you get into it, the more time you invest into it, the more you realize how deep it really is and how many levels there are to it. And that was one of the things that was appealing to me about boxing is the fact that there's always room for growth. You can never not be at a... You can never be at a point where you're not able to get better. You can always get better. And, uh, I mean, we're here. For, this is it, right? This is eternal now. is forever. So, if we're going to be doing something forever, it might as well be something that we can keep progressing at. Because there's something very powerful, and I think it's primal and deeply rooted. that we need to be we need to have a source of fuel in the mind for us to want to keep a reason to keep on keeping up uh that f passion that internal fire that um gives you a sense of purpose So instead of our attention being distracted and uh, constantly scattering, scanning and uh, you know what I mean? Like that, like instead of. You feel that too? I mean, come on. Uh, it just it'd take a moment and sit with yourself. Stop. Enter into that still silence, that, that space where it's, you're here. And that becomes second nature. But where I was going, is uh, these definitely directed thoughts. We're having these thoughts. They're appearing in the mind, these hunches, inspirations, and ideas. And we're conscious of them. Therefore, that we can direct them toward towards what we want to manifest and see bring forth. Because we are the creators of our life. Creator in creation <laughs> is the same process. It's an eternally recurring process. And that's us at, at source. But that's why I don't ju judge a book by its cover. Appearances are a lot deeper than they seem. You know, I had no idea what I was going to say. I just started videotaping because, and you know, that's another something, uh, like looking at myself, like my reflection of myself. That's another kind of subconscious, uh, powerful way to to influence yourself. Um, but also, like, I try to not look in the mirror as much as possible. I'm at the gym or I, if I don't need to be looking in the mirror, I don't need to. You know, there's basic grooming stuff that you got to do. So you got to look in the mirror for that. But once you reach a certain point where you're in this space, this still space, perpetually, um, you don't, you have a, you know you're not the body. You have a, you've affirmed that and realized that to be true within your experience. Uh, transcending the limitations, perceived limitations of the body. 
and the mind. So we're not the mind either. And entering into that, <laughs> it's just indescribable space of awareness. Uh, and the, these buzzwords like awareness, and realization, enlightenment, like, they, let me reiterate and emphasize that they are, they are words. <laughs> they, which are concepts and meanings that we assign to these words. And everybody could have a different, you know, some people get hung up on the way a word is said. Tomato, tomato. Uh, and <laughs> it's really is how uh, serious you want to be about life. And uh, do you want to be stickler or do you want to be easy going, chill, relaxed, calm? <laughs> Just have that. Perfectly balanced energy. The masculine and the feminine within this one. Both operating at full force. And in proper balance. Like within this one. The perfect man. Has been said by ancient cultures and traditions and. To be half man, half woman. So, theoretically, I mean, if this is not within the scope of your experience or your imaginings, and uh, suffice it to say that it, it, it would just be you're uh, trying to conceptualize what I'm relaying with the words, but it's coming from a place of actual experience. So there's a deeper resonance with those words, even if we're not conscious of it, they can have an impact on us subconsciously that is transformative and profound. And once one profound experience permeates one's consciousness in the energy field acting to and through them, uh, it has a transformative effect. It can have a transformation, you know. It's, a lot of times, we can get in our same uh, conditioned ruts of thought, and, which are of a cyclical nature, these habitual thought patterns. I mean, that's the most difficult thing to cure in a human being. It's a, it's a habit of thought, right? And so it's important to be able to utilize our conscious mind to observe our thoughts objectively. Uh, and we're one step closer to realizing that we are not our thoughts. How could we be? They're temporary. They come and they go. Maybe you have the same ones, but it's, uh, <laughs> you are and you aren't. It's, I mean, 360 degrees every perspective, you can talk about this kind of stuff all day from so many different viewpoints and uh you know i have thoughts coming in, up that are like does it make sense to go into that and try to uh, bring conscious awareness to uh me intellectualizing it and trying to turn it into a thought process favorite spots 